Here's something you don't see every day, grazing land right next to retirement homes. Both the Circle Square Ranch and the nearby neighborhoods are owned by On Top of the World Communities, a real estate company owned by the Colon family. The man responsible for managing the cattle and caring for the ranch is E.L. Strickland, who has called this part of Florida home for his entire life. We're what is known as a cow-calf operation, and we use only two types of bulls. We use uh, Hereford bulls, and we use Bramer bulls. We have uh, one purebred herd of Herefords that we breed the Bramer bulls to get that F1 tiger stripe cattle, which is so popular here in the southeast. Circle Square Ranch raises 1,200 head of cattle on 9,000 acres of land. The nearby residents are proud to have the ranch as their neighbor and consider the cattle part of the community as well. Circle Square Ranch is, uh, is carved out of the middle of a huge uh, a development and they're able to uh, be right across the front, uh, fence from uh, uh, obvious spectators and, and, and multitude of eyes looking over their shoulder about what they're doing. They like to think the cows are theirs. For instance, I had one lady in one pasture next to their houses. I have to rotate the cows, you know. And uh, she stopped me, she said, where are my cows? I said, I said, I just had to take them to get them something to eat, but they'll be back as soon as the grass grows. The grass is a key component of the ranch's success. Because of the sandy soil, the ranch uses grasses it can support, rather than trying to change the land with lots of soil amendments. In addition, the cattle are rotationally grazed to help preserve and protect the pastures. We fortunately have enough land where we can move them, if no more than just two weeks, move them for two weeks and uh, then rotate them back. It's, uh, it protects uh, the, the vegetation and it protects the soil. Part of our rotation is uh, renovation. We call it renovation. We have to reno renovate these pastures every six or seven years. And what we do is uh, we'll get a, put them in peanuts and that way we get all the lime and uh, calcium that we need in the soil for years. And then we'll come back in the winter time and we'll plant winter wheat for grazing. And uh, when the winter wheat's gone, we'll put it back in peanuts for two to three years and it just does a tremendous job. And then we'll go back and put it back in this bahia grass. There's a tremendous root mass under this bahia grass and when we renovated it, it goes back into the soil. We've been renovating some of these pastures over 30 years and they're more productive than the, the newer pasture. Circle Square has no natural surface water sources. Water for the cattle comes from deep wells, while the retirement community supplies storm water and gray water for the crops. An abundance of wildlife calls the ranch home, including many protected and endangered species, such as the scrub jay and the burrowing owl. When we started using uh, wildlife biologists as uh, consultants, you know, first thing, you know, they, they say, well, you know, you got a lot of wildlife. I say, yeah, uh, we've been taking care of them forever. I mean, it's, it's just natural. Each of those uh, listed species out here actually has a very viable um, population and they're doing great. And I really think it's due to EL's management. And I really believe he's found that balance to have a great working landscape with the ranch and also allow the wildlife to have their place as well. The ranch has also set aside 300 acres for gopher tortoises that are displaced due to construction of new homes. Well, we have uh, several areas fenced off. When uh, <clears throat> they do do uh, encroachment with development, we catch all the tortoises and we put them in these fenced areas. And uh, that way they got a retirement home forever. E.L. has devoted his career to making Circle Square Ranch a thriving cattle operation, while at the same time protecting Florida's native plants and wildlife. In 2008, he was selected Outstanding Rancher by the Florida Cattlemen's Association, and he's always willing to share his knowledge with other ranchers across the state. We want the people around us to understand that we're in the cow business, but we're also environmentalists. Not many people you meet are uh, uh, is, uh, forthright as EL is and is so willing to, to show his operation and show his concerns. I remember in the early days uh, it was kind of a treat to get him to ride me around and show, show me what he was doing. They're the diamond in the rough. Uh, right here in the heart of Central Florida where development uh, is king. If you're going to be in the cattle business and run a ranch, you have to look at everything and protect it. I want to stay here and uh, 
keep at it and uh, I'm gonna keep all this wildlife intact and, and these cattle and all this rotation and uh, as long as I can go, I'll be here. We're nowhere near done. It's uh, it's uh, When I leave this place, however how I leave it, <laughs> it'll be in good shape.